this is the third world war or this is what is left after the third world war where there was war in every place every country not even one city was spared out of this war though only in europe and certain part of asia the second world war took place but this third world war took place in all over the world involving every kind of people every country now what was this this was the corona corona originated in the central asia and then it spread to every other place just like plague just like a forest fire and the nations small and nation big nations powerful everyone bowed down to that and this corona transform the whole world you know how difficult we find to transform ourselves in a very a small thing transform our habits transform our learning but this one virus which attacked all the people of all the religion all the ethnicity and this transformed not only the politics the business the education and i would say this is one time when all the children in the world were sitting at home could we even think of that there would be a holiday for one year in the school no and everyone is talking the governments the politicians the leaders saying that this is this is come like a rain and it will go away this is not like a rain and it is not going to go away the world has transformed and now if we have to survive unlike the dinosaur we have to adapt we have to transform ourselves we have to transform our business our thinking our way of life earlier only we used to say you know in uh, especially in india when you come from outside our elders used to say wash your hand before coming inside wash your feet leave your chappal outside and you know the hygiene was the most important part of those things but now all over the western world all over the world i would say everyone says namaste you know it has become a thing because no one wants to go and hug or kiss the cheek like the french would do or shake hand this is the transformation that has taken place and if we have to survive we have to look at the new world and the new way that we are going to do things business is not going to be like how it was business is not going to run the way it was and it will never be the way it was business will change the way people do business will change there are people don't go to banks anymore people don't go to shops and everything is online not only in india but all over the world and what we expected certain uh, transformation in technology that we what we are expecting to happen in 20 years has happened in less than a year so what is that we need to do to be successful we have to transform ourselves we have to transform our thinking we have to adapt to the right way of doing the thing if we have to fight and win the human race has to win over this small corona virus and to say that we have done it all over the world people have united across the border across the religion across the ethnicity and we are all fighting and we have almost won the first battle the vaccines are out people have been inoculated and if someone became sick the whole medical system has risen like an a hero risen like an a hero and taken care of all the people now it is the responsibility of us the ordinary citizen in every field the teachers the engineers the farmers 
the businessmen, everyone to adopt safe, but a, a safe way of living and give a lot of importance to hygiene like the ancient Indian civilization has been doing for so many years. With that only, with our caution and with ourselves transforming ourselves, caring for our fellow human beings, caring for our neighboring uh, countries, the neighboring people, the poor countries, smaller countries like India has been giving vaccine not only to our people, we have taken a priority to give it to other small countries in the world who do not have a vaccine factory, who do not have enough number of scientists to do that. We in India have. You can say that India has been the uh, vaccine generator or the vaccine uh, <coughs> mine for the whole world. For almost all the diseases, the maximum number of vaccines are made in India and we have shown that kind of a leadership. And today the uh, Indians, our engineers, our scientists and all our businessmen, our political leaders have all got together and we have shown that India is going to lead the world into the next century and fight this third war and come up as a victor, as a savior for the whole world and for the humanity. Thank you.